baby. I'm very curious about this new kind of party that you There's been a lot of trends about. going on in the baby world right now. Yes. You know, a lot of parents don't find out at all the sex of their baby till the birthday. Right, but right. then now people are throwing what they're calling reveal parties where they don't find out until they have this party and then the parents, the family and friends all find out at the same, at the time. same time. You That's can do this cool. with a balloon artist, you can do this with a baker. Basically you have your ultrasound technician write the gender of the baby on a piece of paper. Right. They put it in a sealed envelope and then you take it to a baker. There was oh, a reveal party that okay. just happened this Saturday in Bethalto hmm. and I have video of it I wanted oh, to show awesome. you. Yeah. This is Anne Meintrup and look at this. That's her little girl Riley. They're cutting the cake. Again, they don't know the sex of the baby. When I talked to Ann, she had a gut feeling. Uh huh. Oh, they color the cake yes. blue or pink. Oh, so they're having I a boy, it. and she's due June 4th. She told me on the phone she had a gut feeling that, you know, it was going to be a boy. But the cool thing is, he's in the military. He happened to be stationed here. Right. So he could enjoy this with his friends and family. Oh, but that's great. But when they had Riley, they were only able to send a text message yeah. to their friends and family when they found out the sex of the baby. So they wanted to share it with everybody this time. What a great idea. I know. It's a lot. And then other people will do it with a balloon artist, and they take that sealed envelope to the balloon artist, and the balloon artist will put a bunch of blue or pink balloons in a box. And then you cut open the box at the party. Oh, and I like that they worked in their older daughter, their four year old daughter, to that she could cut, cut the, the cake. cake. How cool is that? I know, that? it was Get pretty cool. Involved. And thank you guys for sending that to us. That's neat. But we've got more about these little baby trends going on. Do you know anyone who is about to have a baby? Are they finding out if it's a boy or a girl? Because it really is getting more and more popular for parents to wait to find out the sex of their baby. But as exciting as that big surprise may be for them, it can really be frustrating for the friends and family members who want to buy things for that unborn child. That is until now, because I found a way to buy gender-specific clothes for that unborn baby, and you will get it right every time. We're at a party at the Grapevine, a children's clothing store in Alton, Illinois. Four pregnant women are here, and half of them are waiting until their delivery to find out if they're having a boy or a girl. My mom and one of my girlfriends always tells me that um, there's only a few good surprises in life, and having a child is one of them, and not knowing is the best surprise. It's become quite the trend. Just like these women, statistics show 50% of pregnant women are now waiting to find out the sex of their baby. And that's frustrating people wanting to buy that cute gender-specific baby outfit for them. It was yellow and green ad nauseum. Duckies and teddy bears and monkeys, that's about it. And I just thought there should be a better option for the moms who are waiting for the surprise. So when Kate Janesco couldn't find any cute gender-neutral clothes for her expecting girlfriends, she decided to come up with her own newborn clothing line called Tutara. So I went for it. I decided that I'm going to design something. I'm going to do a reversible line. That way it works either way. Tutara outfits are blue on one side and pink on the other. And the owner of the grapevine is so excited about it, she's actually throwing this Tutara party to get the word out to her customers. I have more and more moms come in every day that don't know what they're going to have or choosing not to find out. They don't know what to buy and they don't want to buy the yellow duck. And so this pink and blue stuff is going to do great here for me. Jennifer Shaw wished she knew about Tutara 10 days ago when she had little Aubrey. Because you never know whenever you're not finding out what you should take with you to the hospital. And Another option is this online store called Baby Riddle. It allows you to order a package filled with gender specific clothes. You print out a form, have the ultrasound technician mark the gender and send it to Baby Riddle. Then Baby Riddle sends a box with the gender specific items to the mom to be three weeks before her due date and she can open it after the baby's born. The difference with Tutara is that perfect outfit will make a perfect hand-me-down for the next baby, whether it's a boy or a girl. So cute. Now, if you would like to check out the Tutara line, all you have to do is either go to the Grapevine of Alton, such a cute shop, but you can also order it online and you can get free shipping right now if you order off of Tutara's website. Through the end of December, you can get free shipping with the promo code GREATDAY and we have links to all the store's websites mentioned in the story on GREATDAYSTLOUIS.COM, Matt. Oh, I have Facebook to tell you about because everybody likes to talk about these babies and we want to know if you found out the sex of your baby before the baby was born. If you didn't, did not, was it a great surprise? And do you like this idea of the gender reveal parties? Get on Facebook and tell us all about it. I have to find out, Matt, because I have to plan. I have to have that nursery just right. But let me ask you this, Virginia. If you had one boy and one girl already and a number three was on the way, then would you find out? Still would? No, probably not. Yeah. Then you already have boy girls 
you know, you have clothes for both exactly. sexes. And yeah. That's no. what we did. We found out with the first two, had a boy, had a girl. That makes three. sense to me. That's, that's just cheating, though. That's copping out.